Hello everybody, I'm Sharon Vincent and welcome, welcome to It's My Lifestyle. I'm so glad that we can connect today. I'm glad you dropped in to see what we're talking about today. And hopefully you've taken a little time to subscribe. If you haven't, please do so. I want to be able to connect with you again and again. And for those of you who have Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. It's been a blessing for me. So hopefully something that's being said or done is being a blessing to you. And for if you have to share it with somebody, don't forget. Take a little time and tell somebody else about something that you heard that might be a blessing to them. That's what we're here for, to bless each other and help somebody else along the way. Today, I want to talk about that subject. I know you're saying, what subject? Today. I want to talk about today. Sometimes we look so futuristic about the things that we want to do. And it's wonderful to have plans, uh, to think about what we're going to do and how we're going to go about it. But there are times when we have to make sure that we're getting the most out of where we are right now. Right now, there's something, I know you say, as soon as I get out of this situation, as soon as I get out of this, and as soon as I get, and, and the enemy will sometimes have you putting off for tomorrow the thing that you can do today. You can't make great strides sometimes. Sometimes those little strides mean a lot. And what are we getting out of today? Every day is a little bit different. Some days you have other tasks and other responsibilities, but it's still something that you can get out of today that will get you a little further than where you are right now, a little closer to your goal. And I hope you are maximizing your day. Now, don't be one of those people that you cram a week into one day. That burns you out, wears you out. You become a little bit... A lot to deal with. How about that? A lot to deal with. Because you're trying to do so much. But ask God, God, help me to pace myself that I can get accomplished today what you want me to get out today. And there are times when the enemy sets up little traps for us where we are aggravated or get us hindered some, by something that's going on in today to hinder your progress. Don't let him hinder your progress. Let God use you today to get the most out of your day. One thing that you can always do is acknowledge the Lord. Yes, trust the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding in all thy ways. Acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. That's a promise. If you acknowledge him, he will always direct your path. One way of acknowledge him, sometimes it's early in the morning. If you work nights, then your mornings are the nights. However it goes. But if you acknowledge him when you first wake and give God that special time. For me sometimes, it's in the wee hours of the morning when everything is quiet. And I'm just alone with God by myself. There are times my moments with God have turned into hours because I have spent my time listening to him and crying to him and telling him how I love him and thanking him. And those moments have set me up for a wonderful day. Even if the day wasn't perfect, I was prepared. And, and you can flop, flow so much better when you're prepared, even when things go wrong, because you acknowledged him and God has shown you how to maneuver through the aggravation. Everybody gets aggravated sometimes. No one has a perfect day every day. Some days go well. You met your goal. You met your timing. You feel really accomplished and productive. Other days, not so much. This happened, that happened. But if you acknowledge the Lord, today can still be a good day, regardless of what has gone on. I've learned to give thanks in everything. Give 
him thanks. If you're crying right now, give him thanks. If it hurts right now, give him thanks. If you can't even hold your head up, if it just seemed like tomorrow can't, won't even come, give him thanks. Just say, God, I thank you for the moment. Because every moment God gives is an experience that you can learn from, is an experience that you'll be able to treasure and share with somebody else what God did for you in those moments. Everybody goes through some time, but God's got some joy for you, even on today. Don't let that enemy take little things and aggravate you and suck the joy out of your day. Today is still a good day. Enjoy it. Get the most out of it. Thank God for it. When things happen well, give God praise. When things are happening that are not so well, still give God the praise. He's worthy in every situation. I hope you understand what I'm saying. If you're not, just keep living. You will. At some point, you'll learn how to say thank you, Lord, for some of those small things that you took for granted. But God let them turn into blessings, hidden blessings, all along the way. And I know God will help you as you go along if you just be more thankful for what he's doing right now. Today's still possible. Don't let these last few minutes or whatever hours get away from you. Still give God praise so today can be a productive day for you. All right? I hope you got something out of it. It's just a little nugget to help you along the way. Share it with somebody, and I'll catch you next time here on It's My Lifestyle.